So here I'm going to talk about reverse osmosis water, or often referred to as simply RO water. So before I go into kind of the reverse osmosis, we kind of need to understand what osmosis is and what, how that operates in a general sense. Because this kind of works its way backwards with filters and membranes. So first off, before I talk about even osmosis, let's talk about diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. So where do we see that? Well, we see the drop of food dye diffusing out in the container here. An area of high concentration equally spreading out to an area of low concentration over time. Now, does this occur? Well, simply the natural movement of the molecules here will eventually kind of stir this up and allow it to become homogenized here. So osmosis is the movement of water through a semi-permeable membrane from less concentrated solution to more concentrated solution. So what's the semi-permeable membrane referred to? Well, here it's a membrane where only some things can pass through. You can see the large red molecules can't pass through here, but the smaller purple, green, and yellow ones can. It's semi-permeable. Some things can pass through. We see the evidence here moving uh, from less concentrated solution to more concentrated. So here we have a less concentrated solution. Here's our semi-permeable membrane. The water is going to move across. We see that here where that water level has now increased on this side and decreased on this side. A delta or change in H, change in height. And we'll notice at the end, the concentration of dissolved salts on the left and right side is the same. Here we can see there's much more water than there are the dissolved salts. Because water moved across here, we now have an even uh, spread between these two. This needs to be between the semi-permeable membrane. In this case, the, the dissolved salts cannot move across that. So this is osmosis as it naturally occurs. We talk about reverse osmosis now. There's an apparatus used to separate the dissolved solids from water, but utilizing a semi-permeable membrane. So many of the same terms we just talked about. The separation of dissolved solids from water is what's occurring, and this forces pure water through a membrane with the goal is to produce as close to pure water as possible with an electroconductivity and EC of zero or as close to zero as possible. Uh, often to reduce the EC of water by nearing zero by removing the minerals is the reason why uh, reverse osmosis is used. And it's used quite frequently, especially for hydroponic production. As a result, it filters out uh, filters are utilized to separate out and clean water uh, from wastewater. So there'll be kind of this constant flow. So I see a lot of tubings here. Uh, there's a wastewater, there's a, there's a clean water, and there's a end result or osmosis, reverse osmosis end water. And that's the water you're going to want to use. So what it does is what, or what it can do is it can turn salt water into fresh water. But there are filters or membranes that need to be changed. So we could see here natural osmosis. We want to take these where these few and salt particles are, move across the semi membrane to this side. Well, with the reverse osmosis, it's working in the opposite way. It's taking water and forcing it across this membrane uh, where it doesn't want to go, and there will be a couple molecules that will sneak through, but for the most part, this will be very close to pure water uh, through these membranes, and these need to be changed over time because they can clog based on the water you're trying to purify. You also want to keep the system clean to help reduce the chance of microbes developing in the system. They can develop sometimes on these membranes, um, and they need to do they need to be changed regularly anyway. But it's just a good idea to just make sure that you're not allowing algae growth on them, putting them in a sunny location. Uh, just take extra measures to keep them as clean as possible, so they'll last as long as possible, so you can produce uh, quality RO water uh, for your grow operation.